Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. You know, in this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I really want to share with you my updated berry crisp. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that a while ago I made this and I shared it with you and it is so magnificent. I shared a berry crisp recipe here many, 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 many years ago. I know, I don't look a day over 25. Um, but I wanted to share this updated version with you because it doesn't call for citrus, it doesn't call for nuts, it's just very simple. It makes the berries absolutely shine. And if you are as lucky as I am to be living in a place where we've got local berries growing all around us, Hamilton is the blueberry capital of the world and it is very close to where we live and we've got strawberry pickings all around us. So it's really wonderful. And um, it's so simple that the berries just really shine and that's what I love here. Let me run you through the list of ingredients because like I said, it's short and sweet. I've got a mixture of blueberries and strawberries. Look at the size of these babies. They're phenomenal. And the strawberries are just perfectly sweet. A little flour and sugar and vanilla. That's what you'll need for the strawberry, the berry mixture. And then for the topping, it could not be easier. You got brown sugar, I've got a pinch of salt under there, cinnamon, flour, oats, and butter. That's it. That is it. But it will be the best berry crisp ever because all you'll all you'll be able to like really get is like the beautiful fresh berries, a little hint of warmth from the cinnamon on the very top. It's just phenomenal. <laughs> I've got my oven preheated to 375. I'm adding a small splash of my good homemade vanilla to my berries along with the flour and sugar. And then I just take a big spoon and just mix it all together. I've got a pan here sitting and ready. It's on top of a foil lined baking sheet just in case any juices bubble over. It won't get all my baking sheet dirty because that's kind of a pain to wash. And that's really it. If you don't have a pan like this, this is an enamel pan, an enamel pan just use like a nine by nine square baking dish and you are good to go. I really keep it very simple. I don't worry about mixing everything perfectly because as it cooks and it bubbles, it will be perfect. Just even that out, move it to the side. We're gonna do this whole video in like one take. Just saying, maybe not, but. <laughs> and then you can do a pastry cutter. I'm just gonna use a fork. And then just go ahead and cut the butter in your dry ingredients. Just easier to switch my hands to my hands after a while. And then you just take your mixture. If you're gonna do this in a nine by 13, then you're gonna wanna double the topping and you're gonna wanna double your berries. I'm using six cups of berries. Um, you'll definitely want to double all of that. But just you wait to see what your kitchen, what your house is going to smell like. I love that when I come upstairs, I have a two-story home, so when I'm upstairs and something's baking, it comes right up there and it smells insanely divine. And then you come down the steps and then you just know you're ready for it. You know what I mean? It's like really exciting. <laughs> I'm weird, I know, but it excites me. In the oven, 40, 45 minutes or until golden brown. I'll show you what it looks like when it is done. Get your ice cream ready. All right, so my crisp was in the oven for about 45 minutes. I took it out about 20 minutes ago just to let it cool a bit because the berries were bubbling so much that, you know, at the end of the day, there's still sugar in there and it would have been like, it'll burn <laughs> really bad. So you gotta have this, look at this. Look at what's happening here, okay? Look at that. I mean, that to me is perfection. I don't, there's not much more I dislike than a fruit crumble or a fruit crisp that's dry on the inside. Like I, listen, this juice has got me feeling loose with my ice cream, you know what I'm saying? That juice is necessary. Like, how, how's it gonna meld with the ice cream if you don't get a lot of juice? Like, how is it supposed to make a delicious concoction of goodness without that juice? And you do have to keep in mind that this is still very, very hot. You can probably even still see the steam. As it cools, that juice will thicken. and It'll be like thick, syrupy perfection. But you know, some of us, not me, but some of us are very, very impatient. Mix them in the ice cream, and as the ice cream melts in, and it smells, I can smell the berries, the vanilla, the cinnamon, all of it. It's really hot. That is like my dream. Oh my goodness. Hot though. Perfection. So easy and simple. Go to lauraimthekitchen.com, get the written recipe. They'll love it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.